the Supreme Court has finally fixed Monday, October 23rd, to hear Atiku's appeal, seeking a fresh evidence against Bola Ahmed Tinibu. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you're watching this video from. And the time you're going to see this video, I remember my humble self, the Eichmann, the update master. I go to give updates to Woto Woto. Stay tuned in this page if you want to be receiving updates on how everything is going, both politically and otherwise. Anyhow, the thing they drop, I go to drop them as the thing they drop. Thank you very much, guys. As everybody has been saying, there are different views on the Chicago State University evidence where Atiku Apobaka go bring for Chicago State. Some people are in the opinion that, or are saying that the Supreme Court will not accept any fresh evidence. Why some are saying that there are some grants where the Supreme Court will give a shift and accept a fresh evidence against a case. But the final decision will be taken by the Supreme Court themselves. But I hope they will not also come up with technicalities that will say this or that. As we dig deep into this news, stay tuned and also do the needful by sharing this particular video as we go into the full gist of this news. The Supreme Court has feast Monday, October 23rd, for the hearing in the appeal by the presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, seeking the nullification of President Bola Tinibu's victory at the presidential election. The appeals court will same day, Monday, 23rd, hear the motion by Atiku seeking to bring fresh evidence to the proof that President Bola Tinibu submitted Wahala certificate to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. In a hearing notice cited by Channel Television on Thursday, the appeals court fees 9 a.m. of the date for Atiku's lawyers and those of President Tinibu to address its panel of seven justices on whether it has power to grant the request. Also built to address the court on the continuous requests are lawyers from all Progressive Congress and the Independent National Electoral Commission who are joint respondents in the motion. They are to argue and cite relevant laws on whether such request is grantable under the country constitution and the Electoral Act 2022. The document article sought to tender are the document record academic record of Tinibu, which we are handed over to him by Chicago State University on Monday, October 2nd. The 32-page document we are released to him on the, on the order of Justice Nancy McDonald of the District Court of Illinois, Eastern Division, Illinois, United States of America. We sit tight to watch how this will end because according to some people, they say that Supreme Court will not accept any fresh evidence. Some people are saying that there's a grant for acceptance of fresh evidence. It is not left for them to do the needful. I don't know how the thing will end, whether they will accept or not. But evidence is evident. I remember that the main reason that made Chicago State University District Court to ask Chicago State University to release such document to Atiku Abubaka is for him to use it in the Supreme of Nigeria. Thank you very much, guys. I remember my humble self, the Eichmann. You guys rock. We move regardless.